Hello, hello my darlings. I hope you're doing great and welcome to another video of Vlogmas. And today I want to focus on affordable fragrances that really, really have great quality and they are perfect everyday fragrances. You can call them your signature, whatever it might be, these are going to be perfect. Um, they're not too offensive, they are quite uh, gentle, they are very long lasting and just beautiful in general and they do not break the bank. Okay, so let's just jump straight into it. The first fragrance I want to share with you is from Elisab and this is from Girl of Now range and this is the forever one. So all in all, I think that this specific range of Elisab fragrances is really, really good. The original Girl of Now, the um, Shine one is actually my favorite, I think, for everyone. And then we have Lumiere, if I'm not mistaken, which is the newest one. I like all of them, all of them. But the Forever one is actually the cutest. It's like this raspberry, a little bit sour pudding. Absolutely fantastic. I haven't worn this fragrance in the longest time, in the longest time. I think it's been over a year since I wore it and now I browsed through my mom's stash and I noticed that she actually took it for herself and she's been using it look how much she's used and I, I actually stole it back for myself this is how much into it I am at the moment you know what it reminds me of it reminds me a little bit of Luxuria from Memoirs London, which is super duper expensive. You know, they're like Harrods and Selfridges exclusive and they're really, really expensive fragrances. And this one reminds me of Luxuria. So great bang for your buck. And it's so long lasting, this one. Uh, the whole range is very long lasting with the original, I think, being the least long lasting, surprisingly, even though it's the most gourmand of a fragrance, uh, this one lasts way better. So if you can still find Girl of Now Forever, get yourself on it. Um, I will definitely link it below for you guys. I always look for good options and value packs for you. So check the links below. But this is the first one that I think it's a great everyday fragrance. Now, kind of in the same realm, uh, also like fluffy, a little bit fruity, but very, very feminine and classy. We have Yara from Latafa. And this is such a good blind buy. I blind bought it, um, I think two months ago. And guys, I am absolutely in love with this fragrance. It's incredible, just incredible. It's like a strawberry milkshake, but made very bougie. It's a powdery, sweet, fruity fragrance. So imagine that. It's like a milky powder uh, with vanilla and strawberries. Yeah, that's what it is for me. Another one that projects like a beast. It's so good. Uh, Latafa fragrances, you know, all those Middle Eastern brands that make fragrances, they usually, not always, but usually last very well, their scents. And this one is no exception. And it's so inexpensive. It, I don't think it even costs $20. So guys and you have a very nice bottle it's not like a cheap plastic it's actually nice and sturdy and the logo on the cap is actually you know like pushed inside so you do not have any texture here it's nice and smooth very nice touches i like it i really really like it and yeah you get a hundred mil for i don't even think it's 20 bucks honestly so get yourself yara if you love those you know powdery sweeter a little bit fruity fragrances that are super feminine quite flirty and last all day so yeah this is from latafa now next one we're moving slowly away from those fluffy sweet fragrances and this is i think the last one of it uh mont blanc signature uh, a little bit similar to yara but way less fruity i mean 
it's not fruity at all to me to be completely honest this one is uh, surely focused on those white florals but it's also very clean smelling to me it smells like lemon meringue like a you know the cake it's so beautiful so so beautiful again lasts all day uh, these two fragrances uh, if you like one you will 100% love the other um, the only difference is that uh, Mont Blanc is a little bit like citrusy in the beginning and it goes into white floral spectrum a lot uh, whereas Yara from Latafa is way more fruity like strawberry and milky so this is the main difference but they have a very similar vibe they both last so well so yeah Mont Blanc signature if you do like powdery vanillas but you want something even cleaner with white florals then uh, this is going to be perfect. I said many times that it's going to be a great, great wedding fragrance. Okay, now let's do something fresh. And I have something fresh that's wearable for autumn and winter. And it's very, very long lasting. And we have uh, Decay NY Nectar Love here. Uh, ultimately, of course, it's perfect for spring and summer. But I think if you in general love fresher fragrances this one is for you it is very very strong for a freshie very strong you will smell it all day on yourself i said it before uh, i actually bought it because of my boyfriend's cousin rushan uh, she actually um, performed on my channel one day in the past so if you want to see it then go watch it I'll link it uh, but Rushan was wearing it at her bridal shower and I could smell her all night and it was very hot and humid in the beginning and then it rained during the night and we spent the whole day outside and I could still smell her at the end of the night which was like three o'clock so very very long lasting fragrance and it's fresh very fresh uh, nectar love in general uh, it's based on you know the honey accord the uh, um, beeswax accord uh, but it has a lot of aquatic freshness to it so you get sweet and fresh at the same time very interesting composition I like it uh, especially for its longevity uh, you will definitely feel very clean throughout the day when you wear it so yeah next to love great one uh, of course it would not be an affordable video if I didn't mention at least one Zara uh, and I really struggled here to put the one that I think fits this video the most but for every day I'm just gonna put in here the one that my best friend always wears and I can always smell her and I think it fits every day wear perfectly if you want something slightly deeper but still uh, with a flirt to it and this is Zara fashionably London and by the way I'm sorry that I'm holding fragrances in weird ways I'm gonna tell you a secret uh, to do this va va voom of a hair uh, I burnt myself with the curling wand terribly I feel like I should go to the hospital but this whole uh, part of my hand is completely injured and I am a lefty and it's my left hand so it couldn't be worse and the coldness of glass bottle is the only relief for me so yeah I'm gonna hold fragrances very very weirdly in this video okay so fashionably London um, it does have some some resemblance to the Lina from Parfums de Marly in terms of a masky rose but that pretty much ends the resemblance the musky rose because to me fashionably London definitely is deeper it's not as fresh it's not as clean this is slightly dirtier fragrance if you know what I mean it's not as clean and innocent no 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 there is some bite to it and I feel like the more you wear it the more you sniff it the more bite from it you get very interesting one I think Joe Malone did 
an amazing job with this fragrance. Uh, it lasts forever. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't wear it every day on myself because mostly I don't really wear fragrances anymore. I test most of the time because it's my job. Uh, that's why, you know, many of my bottles are very much full, even though I love the fragrance. However, I have a first hand experience with this fragrance from my friend who wears it every time I see her. And many times I mistaken this with Delina, many times I've mistaken this with Atomic Rose because of the interesting sillage of it and all the uh, deeper and fresher notes in here mixing together you know you can you can make that mistake you really do so i think it's incredible for the price and if you love rose you'll be very happy so that is fashionably london from zara and next we've got nina ricci oh this one is metal plated such a relief guys you have no idea <laughs> this is nina ricci uh, rose extase and even though it's an eau de toilette, it is very, very nice when it comes to lasting power. And this one, I would say it's cleaner and fluffier than uh, Zara. So Zara is a little bit deeper, a little bit more even Middle Eastern leaning, I would say. And uh, Nina Ricci, the pink one, is uh, a little bit cleaner. It does have some spiciness to it still. Uh, but it is definitely just more girly yeah definitely more girly and it is a beautiful scent it is a beautiful scent if you are tired of fragrances that smell like delina and you know all those delina dupes and you still love your um, flirty feminine roses try this one this is best of both worlds uh, because you know it has its own DNA but um, this is that type of fragrance that I really cannot stop smelling beautiful just beautiful I don't wear it enough I definitely should wear it more often but you know because of my work um, it's sometimes difficult to do so but yeah this is so good so so good so that is Nina gorgeous fragrance now let's get into something different uh, so the first one that i want to show you is chloe nomad absolute and of course we have different versions of it the newest one is au naturel which i do have and i do like however in my opinion it doesn't last enough for its price now um, chloe can be quite overpriced but you can find it online with very very good price tag and that's why I'm putting it here. Uh, so Nomad Absolute, I think it's going to be perfect for autumn winter because it's way more woody and deeper than the others. And it's also way sweeter. To me, it lasts very well. I never had issues with it. And with this one, you can see I really did use a lot of it. I uh, used it a lot in 2020 or 2021 it was. I'm not sure I think it was 2020 when it was like just released and I pretty much wore it all summer all summer wrong or all, all summer long not wrong yeah <laughs> so yeah I, I really really like it and I've been enjoying wearing it so so much uh, I've been always complimented when I wore it it's been a very beautiful clean a uh, sweet experience for me you know it smells clean but woody and sweet so i really really like that combination it is an interesting fragrance that uh, it's very hard to find something similar to it on the market i feel like so yeah i highly recommend it if you want something a little bit airier then go for the original or the au naturel uh, however this or the absolute version is definitely the best when it comes to lasting power so keep that in mind but yeah gorgeous fragrance you should definitely uh, have it in your collection okay next one what do we have here Marc Jacobs perfect intense I do not like the original perfect uh, it's too Marc Jacobsy for me 
To me, most of Marc Jacobs fragrances smell like Daisy. There is something to them that just, they all smell the same to me, uh, except from Decadence. And even this one, Perfect Intense, does have that florally, typical to Marc Jacobs facet, uh, but the beginning and the mid of it is so interesting that I think many people will love it. Uh, and it's very, very unique. Um, so this one is infused with a lot of kind of like roasted almost almond. And then you have some florals. So it's a very interesting combination. Now that I smell it on my hand, I am in love again, of course. And this is such a wearable fragrance with a nice, interesting twist. Uh, this is gonna be perfect for autumn, winter because of that nice, nutty, uh, sugary, roasted feeling. Uh, even though it has some florals to it and it actually gets fresher with time, um, it is perfect for those, you know, cozy moments and uh, cold days very very nice the lasting power i would say is moderate and so is the projection but with mark jacobs i've never encountered uh anything except from decadence that's different so it kind of goes with territory but this one is a good good scent okay very very good one so perfect intense i think it was released last year right correct me if i'm wrong but i think it was last year all right um I have two niche fragrances that have a very, very good price. And not only they're not expensive, and on top of that, I have discount codes for you. So I'm gonna show it because it is a deal. Uh, and we can call it affordable, especially these days. So the first one that I have is actually one of my favorites. I love wearing it, it's beautiful, and I cannot believe it's been done by Natalie Rosen because usually I don't really love her vibe but this oof, changed everything. And this is, ladies and gentlemen, Fig Infusion from Essential Parfum. First of all, beautiful packaging, in love. Second of all, guys, the scent. Absolutely beautiful. This is perfection, perfection. And even though it says Fig Infusion, and yes, there definitely is a fig to it, this is the smoothest, silkiest, creamiest, milkiest, beautiful fragrance ever. It has some irisy touch to it that, you know, like creamy, milky, powdery touch. I just cannot. I just cannot with this one. It's, it's just gorgeous. It's just gorgeous and it has a very nice lasting power and moderate projection. It's not a beast because I don't really know any fragrance with this kind of um, note structure in this category that is very massively projecting. I have Parisian Mask from Mattia Premier. I have so many others like that. Uh, even Gris Charnel, right? The fig one. They just don't project like beasts for some reason. It's very unfortunate, but but if you were to choose, you know, let's say Van Cleve and Arpels, uh, Gris Charnel and all those kinds of fragrances, I think the best option is Fig Infusion here and not many people talk about it. And I think it's such a great quality, but you do not, pre uh, you do not pay that hefty price tag, you know. And of course, my discount code and link will be below for you. I think you can actually save a lot of money on this fragrance. And yes, I'm holding it like that because I am in absolutely terrible pain, terrible pain. It burns like hell. You know, if, if uh, now I know how hell burns. Now I know. <laughs> so uh, every single bottle is helping me here. So yes, uh, but long story short, Fig Infusion, great one. And also I have Tardes from Kana. And again, Kana Barcelona is that brand that is niche, has niche quality, but it's not expensive. And uh, I also think I have a discount code for them. So check the description box. So 
Tardes, I talked about it many times. This is a great fragrance because it does combine so many different facets. It's balsamic, like balmy, you know? So it's like warm and cozy and inviting. Yet, it's clean. It smells clean as it projects. Yet, it's fresh and long-lasting. So it has so many different vibes to it, Ethan, um, that is just worth having. It's just worth having. If you like, you know, almondy, balsamic, floral fragrances that have some freshness to it, this is pretty much everything in one. Um, is it unique? I would say yes and very worth having, very worth having. And I think this is a great fragrance for every day uh, because it will suit so many different occasions. Um, so massive, massive stamp of approval from me. And as I said, I will look for the best links below for you guys. And that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed it, guys. Let me know in the comments what videos you want to see next in our Vlogmas journey and see you in my next one.